Hi families, it's Mrs. Russell and I'm here with our final two chapters, uh, our sessions for the blessed curriculum. So this week you received two emails, one for session five and one for session six. Um, this will be the only video for the week, so I'm just going to take a few minutes to go through um, each session. Session five basically really gets into the meat of reconciliation. It's really a very important session um, if you can really focus on it. It talks about great moments in our life, the time of preparation. Uh, we have two big times of preparation within our church on that church calendar, which is that circular calendar I showed you way back in September, the purple areas. Remember, we have Advent when we prepare for Christmas and Jesus's birthday, and we have Lent when we prepare for the resurrection and Easter. You are in a great moment of preparation. You are pre preparing for your first reconciliation, and that is so exciting. Um, on page 146, I really want you to focus on 146 through um, one, 140, uh, 161. So 146 and 147 actually go through the, the steps of the sacrament and how it will look. And then 148 through... 161 goes into more detail of each step. There are five steps to the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and there are videos that go along with it, but I feel like these are the pages right before Reconciliation, which as of right now will be February 6th at 10 a.m. Um, that it, It's a good, good area for you to review. And then we go into exploring whether or not reconciliation is a one-time thing. And we all know as adults that reconciliation is not a one-time thing, and we can go to reconciliation as many times as we feel we need. And that is something, a message we'd like to encourage the children to take away from the last part of session five, is reconciliation is not a one-time thing such as baptism. It's very much like Eucharist where you can receive it many more times than one time. And then session six is a congratulatory session. Um, it talks about all the good things and the happiness that will come to you through reconciliation, through your Catholic faith. It goes into the prayer process, how to actually pray a prayer. Um, it talks about developing great habits. Um, Realizing that going to a quiet place is not a bad thing, and we all need some time to be quiet and just reflect. We hear a story from the Bible about Jesus and how he went to a quiet place. Um, and again, it says right in here that God, on 194 and 195, that God fills us with joy and congratulations. And Mrs. Sheets and I want to be the first to congratulate you on this journey. You've all worked so hard um, to prepare for First Reconciliation, and it's gonna be such a wonderful sacrament and experience for you. I do not have very many more details regarding the actual sacrament. I will be meeting with um, our religious education director, hopefully by the end of this week. Um, and as soon as I know anything, I will give you um, an email with the details. Again, right now it is scheduled for February 6th, 10 a.m. It's going to be in the Family Center. We are not going to do it in church. The Family Center, the hall of the Family Center is set up um, so that we can socially distance. Um, and then reconciliation will take place down the hall in the conference room so that way um, the priest, it's either going to be Father Evers or Monsignor, will be at one end of a table and the children will be at the other end. So there'll be way more than six feet between um, your children and the priest for the actual sacrament. Parents will obviously escort your child down the hallway. You can wait right outside the door for them. 
Um, again, that is pretty much all I know right now. Um, as soon as I find more information out, I will get it out to you. And anything that I have said, obviously, you know, is subject to change based on COVID and numbers and any restriction that we may um, be facing. Obviously, masks will be required of the reconciliation candidate, parents, and any family members um, that attend. So masks are required for, for all. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself or Mrs. Sheets. We have, you know, been talking to a few parents. Um, we would rather you ask, so that way we can set everyone's mind at ease. Um, other than that, next, so this week is our last uh, in the book curriculum. So we have one more week prior to First Reconciliation happening. Um, Mrs. Sheets and I will be developing some kind of fun review um, for all of the children. Again, we are so happy and you are so blessed um, to be able to receive this, this sacrament and it's just joy that we get to, to celebrate it with you. You know where to reach us, email, phone, text. Um, we're here for you and for your family. Do practice that act of contrition. It will be supplied on a card for the children um, the day of, but it's always best to at least be familiar with act of contrition prayer. Um, the children, I'm sure, already know their Hail Mary and their Our Father or the Lord's Prayer, um, but that act of contrition um, is probably, this is probably the first time they've actually seen that. So it's pretty important um, that you just review it um, before the actual sacrament. All right, well, that's all I have for this week. Um, if you did not receive two emails from myself, let me know, um, but you should see session five and session six. Have a great week, and we will see you soon. Bye.